Hey guys, so I thought I'd make a video kind of like showcasing everything you can buy in the Renown shop and whether or not it's something you want to buy. Uh, kind of as a Renown guide, I guess, for what you want to get in the shop, obviously. Uh, let me do it with my trash panda just to be edgy, just to be cool, just to flex. No one has the trash panda, I'm the only one. So uh, we go Renown shop, there's more upgrades now. So tenacity, tenacity is good, definitely good. Definitely want to get that. It's the higher prestige you are, the longer streaks you get, the better tenacity is. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's definitely what you want to get. Then there's auto buy. Auto buy is useful, but it's not worth the five renown, so I would not get that one. Scam artist is very useful if you want to enchant stuff, but otherwise it's not really that good. I would wait for that. Then you have renown gold boost and XP bump. Oh, they um, max that more? Okay, interesting. These are also pretty good, but also I wouldn't really get them at lower procedures. I got them kind of around like 5, 6, 7. Uh, there's definitely better stuff to get now, but it's like 5 more XP per kill does stack up. Like, it does, does get a lot, and 25% gold. It's gonna be a lot at one point. Now, mysticism. Mysticism is very s interesting because. Now that you can have promotion and you won't really lose lives anymore, I would say like don't even use mystics or get mysticism at all until you have promotion. Um, because the only thing you can really do with mystics is sell them, but they're really rare. Even like I got mysticism one at prestige one, and then all the way up to prestige nine, I probably got like ten different drops or something. It wasn't really worth it. So mysticism, I wouldn't wouldn't go for that. Uh, contractor contracts kind of suck now. They don't give a lot of money anymore. Even if you have negotiator three, it's not going to be worth it uh, because you can just make more money with like Moxzuma streaking. Then Hirazi Hirazi is what gives you chunks of vial. Chunks of vial are worth a lot more now uh, because you can repair stuff. Also Hirazi, the night quests also give you XP, which is pretty decent at lower procedures. So I would get like at least Hirazi one. The launch trail is cosmetic. Extra perk stock is a must. You want this. Because level 100 is still like the last 40% of your prestige. Something like that. It's gonna be. You're gonna have. Like, even if you don't have the way, it's still really good. Impatient, also kind of cosmetic. Fishing club. Aqua pants kind of suck. I would not get this either. Extra hearts is really good. So definitely get extra hearts. Extra kill cool slots also really good. Definitely get that as well. Armory is useful, but it's not it's not that important. Fancy hat is interesting right now because we basically have permanent diamond helmets with beast mode helmet. So fancy hat is kinda useless right now. So for now I would like not buy this anymore except until they fix beast mode, but even then you can still get infinite diamond helmets. Um Yummy is oh yummy is three gold now. Um, Yummy is horrible, don't get that. Divine Intervention, again, promotion exists now, so it's not worth the 150 renown to get that to tier 3. Like, I would be lying if I say I haven't, like, saved lives on Mystic since Pit 1.0, but it's it's not amazing. Cosmetic, Apollo is also, like, armory or something, pretty useful, but not a must. The way is definitely a must, you need this, like, you have to make sure that uh, you get this as soon as you can at Prestige 8. Now let's get to the second page. You have Very Yummy. Very Yummy, you can get this if you use Golden Heads. I don't. I use Vampire now. Exe instead of Soups. Soups are so annoying now because they fill up your entire inventory. Yeah, I'm sorry, Soups. They need to buff Soups again a little bit. Uh, Self-confidence. Every major event, if you get like top 5, you get 5,000 gold. It's pretty good. Especially if you have like paparazzi, you make that 10,000 gold, 12,000. Um, it's good for gold, so if you need more gold, then yeah, get that, sure. I mean, it does cost 50 renown, so don't get that too early. This is cosmetic. Fast pass, fast pass is, is so bad. Like, if you get it at prestige 10, it, you're wasting renown so much. Getting to level 50 at prestige 10 is super easy. Getting to prestige 50, uh, to level 50, and like, Prestige 22 only took me a few days as well, so fast pass is really not worth it. I'm gonna have to get it eventually, 
but I'm try I'm I'm trying to not I'm trying to like boycott fast pass. It is a waste of renown. I would say. Maybe like after prestige twenty, it's like useful. But you're you're basically paying renown to have less time to get renown, I guess. Whatever. Cool conclave cosmetic inventory management is very good, but not really important. Like again, if you don't buy mysticism, you won't have a lot of mystics. Then you don't really need more ender chest space. But it's it's still good. It's still good to have though. Then let's see promotion. Definitely a must. You want this. So you can streak as much as you want with mystics, pretty much. This is so good. Then the experience industrial complex, it's more XP, so XP, pretty good. Raw numbers is... I really like raw numbers, it's useful, it's not a must though. Then there's one upper where you can buy uh, one extra tier on all this stuff, like Bull Bettler 5, Gold Boost, or Bull, Bull Bettler 6 and all that stuff, Elgato 6. So it's useful. I'm gonna buy it eventually. Bounty Cloak is cosmetic, and this last one, a Prestige 25, is Celebrity. I, th I believe it costs 300 Renown and it doubles your gold. Like, you just get double gold. This is really OP. I'm gonna definitely get that as soon as I can. Okay, those were all the upgrades. Okay, let's move on to the perks. So there's currently 14 different perks. I'll go over all of them again. Someone has a staff cookie, that's nice. Overheal isn't good. <laughs> what, what should I say? Like. I really think everyone should use Vampire, like, Golden Head suck, Olympus isn't great. Like, you can use them if you want, but they're not good for streaking, I would say, at mid. So having overheal with Vamp does nothing, so there's no p real point in getting overheal, it's it's not great. Barbarian as well, there's... you can get Diamond Swords, I don't, I don't think Barbarian is really worth it. Um, Dirty is really good for like streaking when you're low prestige, also, also really hard, like I just personally don't really use Dirty anymore, because I can heal enough, but Dirty is definitely good, it's, it's a really good perk, you definitely want this. Rambo is weird, uh, I wouldn't get it, it's a really weird healing perk, even though now since you can have 4 more hearts with monster and thick, Rambo might be a little bit better, but Eh. Next up is Olympus. The only good thing about like Olympus, like people say, like oh the XP is really good for XP, but the thing is you can't really box freak with Olympus, or it's hard because you have to drink it. Um, again, like this is just one where you wanna like if you want it, if you want to use Olympus, if you want to streak on the outside, get extra XP. It's a, it definitely is good for XP, but oh well. Then assistant to the streaker is really good because you need it for promotions, so definitely get this. As soon as you can, first strike is good for like events like Rage Pit and Spire because it works there. Otherwise, isn't it isn't that helpful? But sometimes like instead of strength chaining, I use first strike because like when I know I won't get kills anyway. Like I don't have amazing mystics, I don't get tons of kills, so first strike is sometimes better. But eh. marathon did get buffed a little bit. I still don't think it's great, but like if you're gonna use Olympus Marathon, maybe that makes sense. I don't know. Cob Cat, I think it's really good, but it's not worth the perk slot. Fifty percent XP and gold on kills uh, on assists. Eh. I don't think it's really good. Then you have Soup. Soup. Soups are still the best healing perk. They're just really annoying to use now. You keep getting soups in your inventory, and then they fill up the rest of the inventory, and then the assist soups you can only have four of, and so if you have kill soups and then drink them. You won't get any more asset soups if you already have four here, and then you start buying, and then you have to go into your inventory and shift them into your other thing. It's annoying. But soups is definitely still the best healing perk. Oh, some got removed L. Recon, what? No. Conglomerate, if you're bothered, definitely get this. It's really good for gold. Kung Fu Knowledge, definitely don't get this. You, you're so, like They did buff it, but it's not good. Just get a diamond sword. Cringe. And thick, I really want to get this two or two max hearts. Like this is going to be really good for streaking and also really good for stuff stuff like spire and rage pit and beast. Like you know, in rage pit your health is doubled, so you have four max hearts. And yeah, just you can use it with like anything like uh, what is it? Pain focus three with even more hearts. It's going to be epic. 
So those were the perks. Let's move on to the shop items. So there's 10. Ooh, wait, I gotta check this real quick. Self-checkout 3. I, I'm kind of poor right now, but I'll just put all my money in here. Why not? Someone outbids me, boohoo. Okay, where was I? Yeah, someone outbid me already. Iron pack, if you want to streak with iron, I don't know, I don't think it's good. Like, people say you can get an iron helmet, well, you can get a diamond helmet, so cringe. Obsidian sack is really useful, because now you don't have to click eight times to get obsidian, and you also save money, right? I'm pretty sure you, like, save 20% or something. Um, I kind of regret buy buying it, but it's good. But I wouldn't get it if you're low prestige. Diamond leggings? Uh, this one's pretty good if you're not going to speak with mystics, so I would... It's it's fine. Spade and bounty solvent are for hunting. I think hunting is stupid, it's always been, and now it's even more stupid since you can streak and get way more money. Like, the only people I would hunt is people with Highlander, because they're literally... They exist to be hunted, because they get the gold and all that, but everything else... Cringe. First aid egg. Now this, I bought this. It's so good. I just I use vampire now with first aid egg. It's basically boo boo but weaker, but it, it's so it's really good. If you're getting hunted every ten seconds, you can do this. Or if you're in a one v one, I you know hit the, hit the person a few times and run away a little bit, heal up, turn around. I really like this. I'm glad I bought it. So first aid egg is pretty good. Golden pickaxe. I don't know. Kind of cringe. Jump boost 4, I don't know what you need jump boost for, like, I don't know why, like, MLB, cringe, I don't know, tactical insertion as well, like, what are you gonna use this for? It, it sets your next spawn point, you, you're just gonna spawn next to your enemy or wherever you wanna spawn, you won't have diamond armor, so I don't really know, and then pants bundle, I've got pants bundle from other people, I bought them, they're really good, they're really useful, to save inventory space. And I wish you could have them for like swords and bows, but yep, yeah, they're pretty good. Pants bundles. Those were all the shop items. Last but not least, let's get to the kill streaks. So there's beast mode. This one's kind of a must because over overdrive or whatever it's called is so bad because you get so much damage. Uh, so beast mode is better. Like you get less XP but more gold. The thing is, you take less damage and you also deal more damage. So you can go on way longer streaks than with overdrive. So you're gonna make more XP from a single beast mode streak, probably. So beast mode is good, and it gives you the diamond helmets. So even more defense. And then uh, the perks that you get, R and R is pretty decent. If you don't use dirty, having some regen, uh, some resistance. I should use this again. Tough skin is really good. It's like definitely one of the best ones. So you definitely want tough skin. Tactical retreat is okay. You can't really have strength 5 with it though, but region 4, it, it heals like 8 hearts, but it's not that great. And monster is really good as well, 2 hearts. Then there's hermit. Hermit is interesting, you get, you get like slowness, but you get resistance, true damage immunity, and bedrock. Also your blocks stay longer, it's for boxing I guess. And all the, all the perks are items, so the smelly bomb I don't think is good. The glass pickaxe is also kind of weird. The aura of protection is really interesting, though, because of the. I mean, I guess you already have true damage immunity, so I don't. Well, I guess you, you don't have to use it with hermit. I'm dumb. So aura of protection is probably pretty good if someone like prune hunts you or something. Then you can just pop this. Or how, however many you will have at that point, and then ice cube I think is pretty ni neato. I don't know how exactly how it works because just hitting someone. For only one true damage would kind of suck. Uh, but yeah, 40 XP, also slowing enemies. That's pretty good for when you're getting hunted, I would say. Let's see, next, Highlander. Highlander is really is the best one for gold. You get more than double gold. You also get perma speed. Also, when you die, you get your own bounty, and you can have up to a 10k bounty. And the only extra damage you receive is from people with Bounty Hunter, and not everyone does like all the other streaker things. So this Highlander is really good, and then Withercraft, it's one of the most OP perks. It costs only thousand, but it's so good. Gold Nano Factory, if you have trickle down, it, it just heals you right up. And Kane, it's I don't know, cringe. Then Grand Finale, 
I've used this to farm some renown, but what's really good is this uh, Iron Jesus one. Because you can get renown, you can get chunks of vinyl, mystic drops, and gold XP and all that. It's really fun to use. This one's kind of bad. Every 7 kills you get a first strike. Okay, and then leech, you heal some more. It's decent, but it's not great. To the, me to the moon is for XP, so you get way more XP. But I think you do need a, a 200 streak for it to be worth it. Because it multiplies it by 0 0.01 up to 1 times. Yeah, yeah. And then here, XP stack, you just gain more XP. You get you get some gold, more gold, and more XP as well. You can get a lot of XP, but you're going to be kind of weak if you have all three of those. Yeah. So To the Moon is definitely good, but I wouldn't get this too early. I really haven't been saying like what you should get or not, but I guess you can make up your own opinion. Like if you want a gold so you get this. I, I just think everyone should have beast mode. That's really it. Then there's Uber Streak. Uber Streak is for the like end game players. You get get you get more mystics and Yeah. You get way more damage. Um You do way less, but you get an Uber drop at the end and that's what it's important. I mean, I the last person I saw Uber streaking was being protected by a hopper. It was really great. Like the hopper was just killing everyone in the house in the lobby and protecting him. I wish I had recorded that. Oh well. So Uber streak. I want to get this eventually, but it's gonna be hard to actually do that because you really need to, like executioner and boo boo and critically funky three and all kinds of crazy stuff. To actually be able to do an uber streak or just bot, I guess. I could totally do that. So yeah, was this a helpful video? Oh, pit support as well, you can also buy that if you want. Probably pretty cool. Yeah, was this a helpful video? I think my internet connection just died, so uh, that good that I ended it right there. So uh, thanks for watching and see ya.